afternoon. Tick tock. Welcome to the Trip and Tracy Show. Sometimes it's very interesting and funny, and sometimes it's not. But we're just gonna find out, no matter what. <laughs> Hello, all. I am the mist of making another hula hoop. Waiting for all of you to join me. I'm not sure how it's about to work. Hi, Debbie. How are you today? We're like exploring new ways to uh, trip out my trippy hoops here. It's a learning process. Live and learn, make and learn, you know. I'm trying to figure the best way out here. It was easy on the outside. It's gonna be a little more difficult. I have this idea in my brain, <laughs> which sometimes y'all can be very scary. Welcome everyone to the Trip and Tracy Show. We got the flames going right now. Just see if we can't get y'all like, share, follow, comment, double tap, all that fun stuff. I've been on here before, but I'm now trying to revent myself because I got a little depressed for a while. Like I think most of us do sometimes. You know, boy troubles. <laughs> Men troubles, husband troubles, sister troubles, all kinds of troubles. But here in Triptopia, we put all that to the side and we have a good day. I am from Ohio, folks. Hi, Jeff. I think I seen a Zach, Chad, user, Brent. I think I've seen Brenton here before. Another Debbie, oh yeah, Java man. I don't much like Java. I don't know why. Like, I remember when I was little, we had this sleepover, my girlfriend did, and she's like, stay up with all of us and drink some coffee. It was the gross thing I ever tasted. Never drank it again, but I buy it for other people if they need one, cause I know other people like it, probably like, I like my uh, Tic Tacs and <laughs> stuff, you know. So, to each their own. Like I said, I'm in the middle of making me a trippy hoop. And I'm trying to get back into this live stuff. Because I am a creator on here. From Ohio. And I'd be gratefully appreciated if y'all chat with me. So I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I talk to myself all the time, but not really, because I got a dog, Boomer. Boomer over there being lazy right now. He probably won't be lazy later, but right now he's lazy. I just took him for a walk to see if he'd leave me alone a minute. He's my best friend. He's about to be my emotional support dog. As soon as I get enough money, because you know, everything in life's about money. Hi, user. Hi, Ryan. Another user. There's a lot of users out there. Are you guys related? Are all these users related? I'm just curious. Because I know there's things out there called bots. Is a user a bot? I don't know. Somebody talk to me. Where are y'all from? Come on, Jeff. Where are you from? Courtney. Hi, girl. I love seeing the girls and the guys. But... I like seeing girls. So I don't have very many girlfriends. I don't know why. I just don't get out much. I'm like a single housewife. Not by choice am I single either. Like, my husband had babies with my sister. So yeah, I'm single. <laughs> Beat that one, people. Beat that one. Anybody beat that one? I'm just curious. Hi, user. I'm also trying to become a creator on here and try to make me some commercials and stuff. Facebook actually asked me if they could use some of my reels the other day for commercials. I was like, by George, you sure can. This girl needs any extra dollar she can get. Hence the making the hula hoop thing, right? Sidekick. 
I'm from Ohio. I just deliver pizza. I'm just a little nobody in a little nowhere town. Trying to do what I love. Talk to y'all. Make some new friends. I'm trying to create this place called Churtopia here. And if you like, follow, comment, share on my stuff. Like, you'll become a Triptopian. And I'll try to remember your name. Because I'm really bad at remembering names. I don't know if it's a blonde thing or a memory thing or ADHD thing. But it's one of those things. If you're around me much, you'll realize I have a lot of funny blonde moments. Like... And they just come. I don't ask for them. <laughs> they just happen. I laugh at myself during the day sometimes. It's so funny. Sometimes people ask me, Tracy, how are you always so happy? I was like, honestly, I'm not always so happy. But I feel like your brain is the most powerful thing in the whole universe. Like nobody wants you to know that, of course. But you can make yourself believe everything. Like for a while, I was making myself feel like, I was depressed, not worth nothing, like, couldn't do nothing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, come on, Tracy. You preach this stuff all the time. Just think better and it'll do better. And then I got to smacking myself in the head and saying, yeah, girl, preach what you sow. <laughs> or sow what you preach, whatever. You know, you get the drift. And now I'm back in my happy place where I usually am. I was like, I heard the funniest thing the other day. I was at my friend's house. New friends, mind you, because my last friends robbed me. And so, I've been friendless for a while. So, I'm like, need some new friends. And Anyway, she's like, somebody called me a bitch. And I said, really? She said, yeah. And I said, yes, I am. I'm beautiful, intelligent, talented, charming, and occasionally horny. So yeah, I'm a bitch. So that's what I'm gonna live by. I am a bitch. I don't know how intelligent I am. <laughs> you know, I can check the oil in my car and pump up my own tires and fill up the radiator and patch the window and make a hula hoop. So yeah, I'll put myself in that category. I'm a bitch. Remember that, girls. We're all bitches. Because we're all beautiful, intelligent, champ, talented, charming, and occasionally horny. To the right person, that is. Me, y'all might think I'm crazy. But I've decided to save myself till I find my next love. Which means no hanky-panky in the meantime. Unless it's with myself. <laughs> That don't count. Batteries are not included. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Pat myself on the back for that one, too. That just came to me out of the blue. Like most things, anybody else have to carry a tablet around with them? I have to carry a tablet, piece of paper, everything. Because these ideas, they just pop in my head. And then I'm like, boy, I better write that down before I forget them. But then sometimes I lose a piece of paper. Then where am I at? I got to think of more stuff. Which isn't hard because with an ADHD brain, I don't know if any of you have had that, but there's this book called Driven by Distraction. My doctor made me read. And like, I think I'm all three of the above. Sometimes he uses me for students. <laughs> That's okay. He likes me. He loves me. He's the only one ever listened to me. I never had a doctor for years and years and years and years. Uh-oh, people. We have a catastrophe. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to fix this catastrophe. But In life, if milk is spilled or the tape is twisted, it's okay. Just fix it. And everything will be all right. Come on now, I'm from Ohio. I know you can comment on here because I got some smiley faces. I seen them. And I appreciate you, Jay. Let's see. Let's see if I can figure out your all's name. Jason Johnson. 
Johnson. We are friends, Jason Johnson. I will remember you. Oh, now we have another one in here. I don't know how to. It only brings up the one. I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of fresh on here. I'm learning. I think we'll sell my chessboard too. I guess, like, today is like a, do a 60 minute thing for something. So y'all stuck with me for an hour. We'll have to figure out what to do in an hour. So y'all better talk back, right? Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Little old town, only got about 1,300 people. Small. I work in a little bigger town, thank goodness, because I deliver pizza. And the town that's well, of course, there's only one pizza shop in this whole town. So we actually used to have a store here, but it started doing slow, and all the deliveries were, like, really far away. So we just went to a little bigger town and stayed there. I don't know if we'll ever open back up in here again, though. I mean, we still got a store here. They just live in it now, you know, because we're like city hillbilly tribute folks. Sorry if I'm distracted a second. I'm <laughs> trying to accomplish two things at once, which I do a lot. Sometimes I include three, but we're gonna stick to two today. For a minute. For a minute. All right. Let's get some more. You know, you know, if you double tap that screen and send me a bunch of hearts, it like pushes us to more people and we get more people in here. That's why I heard the trick is y'all that are in here got to double tap and stuff. Like show some girls some love. Because it's Triptopia and we all want to feel loved. I think that's what everybody looks for in life. It's just a little bit of happiness, you know. It's hard to find it sometimes. It's tricky, but it can be done. And it really is just how you think about your day. Whether you're gonna get up like I was like a couple weeks ago and be like, I don't know why I left him like, was wrong with me, like, but he really wasn't paying me no attention, unless he needed a ride or something. And my husband thing, I don't even have nothing left for him. I mean, I could sit in a room with him and discuss our divorce. <laughs> Which I'm hoping to do someday. I heard you can get free lawyers or something, because my friend, she just came out of a divorce court Girl made out. Girl made out. And I said, my husband slept and had babies with my sister. I said, I have 25 years. I said, I bet I make out too. Even though he ain't got nothing. But just the principle of it all. I had dissolution papers in the mail once. If y'all know what dissolution is, I think it's just accepting the facts. Like without arguing about them or something. Then his mom started like bullying me. And I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna let him get away with that. That easy, you know? I guess 25 years. 25 years is someone's whole entire lifetime. Like pretty much like a whole lifetime. And he did some messed up stuff when we was together. Like that I stood by his side like the whole way. Like hurtful things, beat me, like. All kinds of things. Hell, oh, I just, the list, if you had my life, you'd be like, girl, why was you still there? But you know, I took those vows. Yes, I did. And I meant them. So better or worse, I was there to the end. But when it got to having, you know, babies with my sister, I drew the line. There had to be a draw the line thing somewhere. Like he left with another chick for life. Six months deserted me, and my dumb ass is gonna take him back. You know, I was like, midlife crisis, whatever. I was gonna take him back, but he wouldn't come. 
And then, you know, once I let him go and I started, like, talking to someone, he wanted to come back. But I said, no. Drew Line. He's like, you won't like where I go next. I was like, I don't care. But it was my sister. So I cared. Only because I loved her. And she's gone. I'm not gone, but gone. You know what I mean. But I am also making and creating, besides wonderful TikToks that y'all should check out. Hi, Penny. Penny, I swear I've seen Penny before, back when I was doing this more often. Which I am going to start doing this a few times a week, hour or so at a time. Like Live Radar, I got on his show and I was like all pumped up for going on live more often and like, Get my subscribers up, or I think I had I can have prescribers now or something. I don't know, but I'll figure all that out. But you know, I thought I was gonna get on here and do good and grow and all this stuff, and and then I got back with my ex boyfriend that I was with for two and a half years before I realized he didn't love me anymore, and and I went back and then I got depressed again because I had to leave because I knew even though he said he loved me, he didn't treat me like he loved me. Broke my heart. My heart still broke. Like, I tried to meet a couple people, but in the midst of meeting them, I just bawled my eyes out. I just started crying out in the middle of nowhere. Thinking about stuff. and Oh, I don't want to start that now. Let's get out of there. This is Triptopia. We don't do that in Triptopia. We make people smile and feel good. Like y'all, breaking news, people. Pink, listen, breaking news. You know the sexual position of 69? They are now changing it to 96 because the economies went and gone to fuck and everything's more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, how are you? Hello. How are you doing? What's up? What's trying, up? Trying to battle. Are you trying to battle? Well, if you battle me, you'll probably win. Well, how many viewers you got? Uh, I think just one right now. Oh, okay. You should have just said so. I would have let you do what you were doing. That's okay. I'm I'm game for helping out people. I'm at you it. know, if you get a star, I'm happy for you. Star. Right. And maybe I'll get one of your friends to like me in the meantime. See? And then we're both happy. You do know you are on fire, brother. Yeah, I figured that'd catch people's attention. <laughs> and they would come in here. Maybe they'd right. throw some water on me and put me out. I see. I see. <laughs> Don't you, oh, you post them or something. I have crazy ideas like that all the time. Hey, I, I, I get you. <laughs> you know, I'm 52, so... No, you don't look at 25. Yeah, and like I've had to start my life all over again. So I'm like trying to reinvent myself. Okay, so how did you reinvent yourself? What were you before and what are you now? Well, I was before a pizza driver and a housewife. But now I'm just a pizza driver, a TikToker, and a single girl. Oh, and a hula hoop maker. And I also do car tattoos. And I do all kinds of stuff. Nice. I just never, like, put all my stuff out to the world before. Now oh, cool. this magical thing called TikTok. In. Yeah, I'm, I, I had I, a TikTok that hit 4.8 million likes. Oh, wow, crazy. Likes? Right, that's what I said. And I come oh. from a town with only 1,300 people. Oh, well, you're not hitting your town. So, what do you, you you're a pizza driver? Yep, for 13 a, years. Never I'm missed an, a day. I'm an adult film star. A what? An adult film star. An adult film? You don't even look like an adult. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's kind of like the brand, if that makes sense. The teenage. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I think people what... have told me that I'd make good in that industry, but I Yeah. Just... It's good fun. It's, it's hard work, though. Yeah. It's not easy. I, not... Yeah. Good for people that can do that. Me, I'm, I just like to make little commercials and, like, my own little music videos and stuff. Oh, you sing and shit? Oh, I got thousand videos. People can oh, watch on here. Yeah, like thousands. I make about ten a day. 
Oh, my. keeps me from thinking how fucked up my life is, you know? Crazy. Can you like, a song? Can you like a little verse or something? Huh? Can you sing for us now? Like, give us a little verse? Oh, I don't sing. I just make, like, little commercials and stuff. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I, li- I use other people's. <laughs> I have some of my own. Con- like, I don't know. I just do me, I guess. Oh, yeah. I'd I say would. I'm putting my own vibe into the music. I see. You know? I like to put my own little vibe in it. And I like all music. Oh, you do? So you like, you're, like, into, like, everything, like, rap from, like, country? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do rapper. you know if the whole world would listen to every genre of music, they would realize somewhere in every single motherfucking song, you are going to find something you can relate to or, you know, a verse you can, like, feel like everybody's feeling and thinking mostly the same things and needing the same things. I mean... The song, um, like, Find Distinguished Gentleman in Paris by Jay-Z. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to need a pencil because I have ADHD, too. <laughs> I'll lose track of it. Yeah, no. I got one somewhere. So. Now, who am I looking up? <clears throat> uh, look up Fellas in Paris. Fellas in Paris? By Jay-Z. Okay. Uh, should be the first one. I believe the first word is different. I just can't really say it. Let me get my phone. I'm so glad you're going to win a battle. But you, oh, know, you. but you know, my friend in here, they double tap a real whole lot. Yeah. Ain't a point or two. Come on, yeah. peeps. I think they left me. But I just had someone come in. Hey, Jim. All right, let's look. Yeah, and I've been heartbroken for a while. Oh, is that your dog? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if they'll let you show me mine in the fire. Oh, it won't show the dog. Oh, no. There he is. He's sleeping. I'm going to have to take the fire away. That's uh, okay. You don't. Oh, I don't mind. I was going to take the fire away anyway because I was going to stay here with whoever's in my room and set up my new little chessboard. Oh, what happened? I don't know what happened. Did I press a button? I might have pressed a button. Sarah, hi. I hope you stick around. I was just in a Proposed funny task for the losing host to complete during the victory lap. That's funny. Well, I kind of want to battle now just so I can lose and do a thing, right? Wouldn't that be funny? Okay, let's find these damn effects and take away all this fire. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Let's find something good. Oh, look, it gave me pink lips. We'll take this one. Hi, y'all. I don't know. I was in a battle with somebody, but I lost them. They're gone. I don't know where they went. But I'm on here for an hour trying to get my hour sticker or whatever. I was making my hula hoop, but I got sidetracked. Hi. Whoever's joining, hello. I'm sad I didn't get to follow that person. But you know, you can only have 10,000 friends on here. And I followed everybody back that I liked, that liked me. And and now I have over 13,000 and they won't let me like that many. So it's pretty messed up. Hi, I hope you guys stay. It's all. Hi, Hello. Oh, what's up? How are you? I'm doing good. I figured I'd come on live for a little bit before I went to work today. Okay, Trina, thank you. 
I'm trying to get back into it. Oh, we're going to do a battle. Like, what do I got to do if I lose? Because I usually lose. No, you don't got to do nothing. I don't make... You know what this guy tried to make me do one time when I lost? What? He said, take an imaginary salt shaker and shake salt onto your tongue. You know what that's going to look like? Yeah. Going like yeah. that? <laughs> I said, no, bro, I'm good. Right, yeah. Draw a line somewhere, right? I know I had to in my life draw the line somewhere. Yeah. So I'm I don't even do that. So. Very friendly people, you know, that and get took advantage of a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I just got robbed a week or so ago by a good friend of mine. Well, she's not a good friend anymore, but. Robbed? You like your house or what? No, actually, uh, she asked to borrow my phone and I said, sure. And she cashed out to herself all my money. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it was right. I was right in front. I, I wouldn't even right in front of you, huh? Right in front of you. Well, I she I delivered pizza and she was fighting with her boyfriend. She asked she could ride around with me, you know. And of course, yeah. I'm a good friend. I said, Yeah, come hang with me Thank at work, you, you know. Bad idea. Told me yeah. she didn't have the phone, asked to use my phone. I said, Yeah. How much was it? It wasn't a lot, but it's just the purpose. Hey, it doesn't it matter. That's all I had. I don't yeah. Have pizza, you know? My husband, 25 years, deserted me, so I really ain't got much. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? He had babies with my sister. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good reason to call him your ex. Yeah. Yeah. For real. <laughs> My sister's lucky I don't call her an ex sister. Yeah. You know. The whole time you were married, he he had he got her pregnant. No, it was at the end there. No. Oh. But still. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm a saint and all, but they recently asked me if I'd raise these children. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, I love you, and I love my sister. And if they was just my sister's babies, I'd be all over it. But no. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I thought I had a wild life. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I try to smile about it. And... You don't have a choice. Yeah, what do you do? Go on with the next day and... Well, 25 years ago, I was playing with big fireworks, and it went off of my hand. I lost my left hand, and it split oh, my wow. face from my forehead all the way down to my mouth got split oh, wow. back. Thank God you're here. Yeah, nobody, they, even the doctors thought I was going to die. Wow. My dad only has one eye. Yeah, I have, I have one eye and one hand. See. I know, but somehow, you know, we all just keep on trucking. I yeah. think it's all in your head, too, you know, because I can wake up in the morning and feel depressed and think about depressing thoughts and live my whole day depressed, or I can think up, wake up and think of what I'm going to accomplish today and, you know, have a good day. Yeah. It's all in what you choose to think in your mind, really. Mine's powerful. Well, people tell me they're like, I don't know how you do it, bro. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I said, You don't have a choice. Yeah, you don't. You don't have a choice but to move on unless you don't want to be here anymore. Right, right. Right. And I told myself that in the hospital when I woke up out of a coma, I was in a coma for a month. And they were gonna amputate my leg because Look at the scar I left on my leg. My bone was showing for months. Oh, wow. My bone was showing for months, give and they were going to cut my leg off. Give him some likes, people. Give him some double taps and likes. I really hope he wins this. I know he will, but I hope it anyway. 
I do. I have the empathy for stuff. Right. I just don't get people that don't. Mm. The world just drives me nuts sometimes. Yeah, there's some bad people on here for sure. There's bad people everywhere. and Yeah. It's hard to find good people. Well, that's what took me so long to go live. I was on TikTok since January and only been going live for the last three months because I was worried about what people were going to say to me and what they were going to do to me about me, you know? Yeah. And I've only had a few. No, it was not just straight out said, oh, look at you, bro. You know, nothing like that. It was like, wear an eye patch. You're inconsiderate of others. I'm like, dude, my... My nerve right, that works in my eyelid was severed. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's messed up. Like, I started TikToking, and even though I had really bad teeth, really, really, really bad teeth, and then they got worse and worse and worse, and somebody from TikTok here actually gave me the money to get this smile, which I'm wow. really appreciated of. You know, but it was hard for me to accept it. You know, money hey, aren't you glad you did though? But you know, I was so desperate for it, I did accept it, and I'm glad I did. And we still keep in touch. And Are they dentures or implants? They're just dentures. I mean, hey. that's why. I mean, I work in the public every day delivering pizza, and I just. Did not want to go for my own personal self-esteem reasons without any teeth at all, you know, while I waited on dentures. And it was going to cost me $500 to get the temporary ones. Yeah. And I couldn't afford it, but somebody did That's help so me. awesome. Yeah, there are good people out there. I cried like a baby. When they, because I don't open a lot of messages on my messenger, you know, I answer all my comments on my sites and stuff like that, but I really don't get into my messengers a lot. And I just open a few here and there, and one of them was his, and that's why I believe in fate and vibes and karma. And wow, that that's awesome. Real. Happy for you. I'm happy you're here. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. Awesome. And it's awesome you're on here. Like me, I started on here and I started getting good at it and accumulated 13,000 followers and, you know, was doing pretty good. And and then I had one date after my husband left me and I was with that man for two and a half years. And then he started going elsewhere. And Wow. Treat me bad. So I've never I done got that really to any woman. Broken, depressed for a while again. You know. Yeah. What I do wrong, like. Exactly. I don't, I've never cheated on anybody or, you know. I anything, haven't either. Anything like that. So, when it gets done to you a lot, you tend to get depressed and wonder why. Yep. Well, I'm glad I decided to value you. Yeah, I'm glad I met you. I'm going to follow you if I can. You I know think you already are. Yeah, we are. See? That's so sweet. I'm so glad. I like getting to... It's hard for me to remember people's names, so I got to meet people like more than once before. <laughs> it's like a blind ADHD thing combined, I think. Yeah. I have a lot of blind moments in my life. <laughs> hey. We all get those. But they make me laugh at least once a day. You know, I said, I'm always laughing at myself. <laughs> That's why, really, I TikTok just so I can try to put a smile on someone else's face every day. I like to do little funny TikToks and sarcastic TikToks. And just fun. Yep. Plus, I think the busier you stay, the better off you are. Well, I have social anxiety, and I, that's one of the reasons I didn't get on here. Me too. And when I first time I did, I turned it on, and I just sat there like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. And I was like, 
this guy comes in my chat and goes, are you going to talk? And so I like just turned the phone off and I'm like telling myself, I can't do it. There's no way I can do it. Because I can't just walk up to people and start talking to them because I don't know them. Yeah. But once I get to know somebody, it's easy. But I but I always have to have my hand on something. Like, right. first I was playing with my charger cord uh-huh. and broke my cord because I was fidgeting with my cord. <laughs> well, my daughter got me this popping thing. The right. pop. And I gotta squeeze it the whole time on live, or else, or eat pistachios, some something. Yeah, gotta do something. Yeah, I feel you there. I'm making hula hoops. I make hula hoops. I'm gonna try oh, to start yeah. selling them. I I start selling them where I work at, so that's kind of cool. I hope I have How the whole time hula hoop in pretty soon. What do you make them out of? Um, this piping stuff. Oh, PVC. Yeah, they're better in Walmart. They're just as good as you buy from professional, if not better. Wow. And probably a lot cheaper. <laughs> but you know, how that's you- how I started making them. I started hula hooping, and it's when COVID was here, you know, and. If you try to buy a hula hoop during, during COVID, just forget it. It's like six month waiting list on it, on it, you know. And I'm like, I want a hula hoop now. Yeah. <laughs> so I like learning how to make them. How do you connect the ends together? It's secret. I'm not gonna give it away. Oh, okay. I got. I have some sort of secret. It has got to be something on the inside because if you put a coupling on the outside, there's going to be a bump there. Yeah. Really, even if you do have a low bump, it's no biggie. Yeah. Bob, All right, Paige, I'm going to... Different ways. I'm going to spin the block and see who else is on. All right, really nice. have a good day. Yeah, I'm about ready to have to go to work anyway. Where, so well, where are you from? Day. Oh, I'm from Ohio. What about you? Oh, I was born in Ohio. Was you? Canton, Ohio. Oh, okay. I've been there once. Yep. All right. Have a good what day. Are you from? Wyoming, I forgot to tell you. Oh, okay. Wyoming. Oh, that is beautiful there. Well, peace out. You have a good day. Yeah. You have a good day. Yes, Bye. you too. Bye. Well, that was fun. He was very nice. He put tears in my eyes. He really did. He lived through a lot. That's why when I'm so heartbroken and depressed and down, I I think of people like that. And it's like, well, look what someone else is going through. You think your husband in 25 years having babies with your sister is a big deal? <laughs> it really was. <laughs> in my life, it was. Like, all these years being behind him and all his recklessness and for what? For what? You know. But yeah, I seen somebody on live the other day that has tons of flowers and they get roses and presents from these people. You know what they do? They don't even talk to you. They just sit and peel raw eggs. And you all watch it. Well, you ain't tapping and watching and saying hi to me. I just don't get it. But I hope I come on here more and that changes. That's the plan anyway. That is my plan. We got to get these up. I got to see what time it is. Okay, that's more just me. With some flakes all around. But we have to get some more people in our Tryptopia. So you have to like, share, follow, comment. We have to move the rocking chair. I am going to turn this little room into my hula hoop room, people. Yes, I am. Because it's my house, I think. I'm trying to save it. But yeah, this is going to be my hoop room. 
my hooper, my play with my hooper. I'm learning new tricks every day. And I don't know you, but if you just happen to go to where I work at, you can see them for sale. That's right, people, for sale. Better than the average bear. Trippy Tracy Hoops. Hi. I just hope I had a few double taps, likes. Really nice somebody shared it too. Like, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how long I've been on here yet. I have to get my phone and investigate so I'm not late for work. Be like star balls, I'm late for work. You know me and my TikTok addiction. It's not an addiction, really. It's not. It's just something I enjoy to do. I enjoy making little funny skits. and I'm actually doing pretty good on Facebook. Like, very lot. Doing pretty good. That's all I got to say. I do have a little bone to pick with them, but we'll save that for a later date, later interview, you know. I still want to see if I can get one or two of you people to comment and say hi. Tell me where you're from. That'd be so nice. I really can't say your name. I call you AJ. AJ's in here. I'm not sure who else is in here with him. It's not showing me. That's a little strange. But I'm strange. So it's okay. Anybody got a good joke? Let's hear a good joke. I want to hear... A good joke that makes me smile today. I'm waiting. I don't know why I did like this snow filter. Because I hate the snow. I hate the cold. I was born and raised in Ohio. I think I'd be used to it. But I'm not. I hate it. I do. Oh, I see I was actually thinking about taking you all to work with me to open the store. Wanna go on a ride? I was thinking about going for a ride with you all to the store. You can watch me open it. What do you think about that? Huh? I'm debating. Let me go look and see what time it is. And then I'll tell you if I'm going or not. I probably should be starting to carry my stuff out to the car, though. Oh, yeah, it's time to get ready for work. And I got to pick up my boy. So, we, I'll bring you with me for a little bit because I want to make sure I get my whole hour in, you know. Where'd mommy put her coat? I really, really, really I need to start carrying a book bag. Because <laughs> I like have to take half my work with me when I go. I really do. I have to take most of my stuff with me. And it's like getting ready to go to motel every day when I go to work. But come on, y'all. I'm going to bring you with me while I load the car. And like I said, I think I decided I'm just going to take y'all to work with me. But you watch me open the store. I think it'd be interesting. You might be interested. You might be why well, I didn't know. I didn't know that's how that worked. Who knows? We're probably gonna have to take about three trips up and down the stairs though. To even be ready to leave. So I better get motivated. I'm going to be buying me a new car sometime this week. Maybe even tomorrow. Double tap, like, share, follow if you can. I'm going to take everybody to work with me, I think. I don't know how my son's going to like that. But we'll see. I just want to make sure I get my full 60 minutes. I also have to make sure I don't leave nothing behind. Like I said, it usually takes me about 
three trips before I have everything. And then I have to have like a double check it moment. Make sure you got it. You know, we're going to take our hoops in case tonight is slow and we get bored. <coughs> yes, we are. We need that. We need that. We need that. Oh, we definitely need our icebreakers. I don't go nowhere without some icebreakers. I don't know if any of you have ever had dentures before, but dry mouth is no fun. No, it's not. Just damn, we're going to eat one now since we we're talking about it. I also have some paperwork to look up for my house. Might take that with me. All right, let's go with our second load. Man, my third load's in the bathroom and my boy's in there right now. I got something I gotta get out of there. It's very complicated where I live. That wasn't me, that was <laughs> But I live with, well, my kids still live with me. My daughter has three dogs. And her one dog eats my dog. So they can never see each other or be in the same room together. So everything's like locked into sections. So you can section off the dogs. So one can go potty, the other one go potty. Oh, and wait, y'all check this out. These are all my outside kitty cats. We have a slew of them. Look at them all. Look at them all. These are not mine. These are just neighborhood cats. They just hang out here. I don't know why. There's four dogs inside. I tell them that all the time. I'm like, why are you here? You know, there's four pit bulls in that house. They don't care. They still come. All right. I think we have load number two out the way. <sighs> now I have to go get the last load. And then we're going to go pick up my son. I still have two people in here, so I'm going to keep it going, right? Why not? Maybe I'll get like a gold star for the day. I was hoping like Live Radar would have been on here and like invited me in his room again. Because that's where I want to bring up the Facebook topic at, really. I got the coolest witch's hat yesterday. Oh, good thing. Well, you came for a third trip. The keys are up here. So cool. Got little skulls on it and stuff. Tyler, I need to grab my bag. Well, he's almost done. I'm going to have to call my boy and tell him be ready because mama is on the way. We actually work at the same place for all these years together. Oh, and I have to take me a tablet to draw on and jot stuff down because, you know, like I said, ideas pop in my head all the time. I'm not sure who that was. I'm still on live. See, there's my boy. <laughs> Everybody's like, you are a little ass at him. I was like, sure did. Both my boys, big boys. 
They're like six foot five. I'm like five foot three. <laughs> you probably never guess. Okay, we gotta go pick up my other kid. Try not to let any of these cats in the house. Double tap, like, share, follow, comment. That way I know you all want me to come back someday. Chat some more. Oh, and if y'all get a chance, so go watch some of my content. I love making it, and I love comments on it. and I love people to enjoy it. So I hope y'all go watch it. Yes, I do. All right. We are on our way down the road to pick up my boy. Because guess what? He just bought a car off someone, okay? And it's like from a town, like a little bit far away from here. Lit. And uh, the title's wrong or illegal or something. I sure hope he can get that fixed. Oh. Uh, Maybe in a minute, Corey. Uh, the highest form there is, but we love her. Hope y'all double tap, like, share, follow, comment. I'm from Ohio. What about you? Oh, snap. We need gas, too. Fuck. Be late for work. Oh, good. My boy's already down. He probably ain't going to want to be on the live, y'all. So, Trip is going to have to trip out. I'll try to be on later. Y'all have a good day here.